from in your ear production studios in Mississauga, Ontario, it's the Being Frank Show, starring Frank D'Angelo. On tonight's show, Frank's guests are singer-songwriter Amanda Martinez, Canadian violinist Grenville Pinto, hip-hop artist Taddy Sobatty, with your co-hosts, the awesome Jeff Elliott, and yours truly, announcer guy Dave Reynolds. And now, please welcome your host, kick it up for Frank D'Angelo! I fucking hate Mondays. <laughs> Stressed out. How are you, Klaus? Wonderful. Gino, good to see you. Wearing sunglasses in here. But then again, when you're cool, the sun shines all the time, right, bud? <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, everybody has an obsession in life. Everybody has an obsession in life. Some people are obsessed with cookies and, and beards. I can see which way last Tuesday. Uh, so everybody's obsessed. With, I'm obsessed uh, with uh, uh, the press conferences for Donald Trump uh, because it's 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 mind-boggling uh, to me how they try to rationalize crazy <laughs> and they try to rationalize bull <laughs> like because uh, the man the man uh, you know uh, with all due respect he is the president of the United States one of the most powerful countries in the world he bull. 24 7. He's, he's a pathological liar. You, have you ever had a friend? No, but seriously, have, have you ever had a friend who just lies and, and you, you forgive him because, I don't know, maybe he brings a good beer. Maybe you forgive him because he orders pizza. Maybe you forgive him because he brings a tab. But, like, so I've watched the press conferences. Now they got, you know, Sean Spicer is on Jerry Sprinker or, or he's in a rubber room going blah, 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 and they, they replaced him with uh, Sarah Huckabee Sanders. And I was, uh, over the weekend, uh, I saw a clip of her handling an incredible question and because there is some great questions, right? How, how, how big is that beard going to be? Seriously, like I'm just curious because every time I see you, like, like, no, no, because <laughs> I'm Italian and when I grew up, uh, Italians in my class would shave in the morning and by three in the afternoon they had to shave again. <laughs> and but I can't, like I, I, I don't know. I'm and I'm Sicilian too. I should be hairy. I should wear high heels so my knuckles won't drag on the ground. <laughs> now they laugh. I'm cutting myself up. Now they laugh. <laughs> So, I have a clip of one of my favorite uh, incredible rationalization of bullshit, of pathological lying, and it's really, like, mothers do that. Mothers, you know, the kid's uh, an idiot or a moron, and the mother always says, no, he's okay, he's a good guy. <laughs> he blew up your house, but that was, the way he blew it up was great, it was beautiful. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, here's a clip of what I, which I found extremely interesting from a very, uh, I would say, pertinent question, right? from uh, the press pool. Uh, we have that clip, guys, uh, from uh, Sarah uh, Huckabee Sanders. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, before we start, uh, I just want to mention and make an announcement that the President of the United States is uh, traveling to Asia. He'll be gone for 15, 16 days. It'll be the longest trip of any American president. <laughs> He's um, going to make some deals uh, to make America great again, and uh, we're going to take some questions. It'll be a brief press conference. Uh, John. John Gallagher, NSS. We all know the president tweets very early in the morning, and it seems to a lot of us on Twitter that he's very, very angry. The uh, president is not angry. He's never angry. He's always in a good mood. Everybody in the White House knows that he's in a good mood. He's probably in the best mood of any president in the world. And uh, I don't understand your question. Next question. Uh, uh, Tony Nardi, Independent News. Uh, can you please tell me, Sarah, uh, President Trump often refers to fake news, yet when we quote him verbatim, um, and play actual clips of him making the statements, he still refers to them as fake news. Uh, the news always uh, takes uh, whatever President Trump says out of contents, and you should be ashamed and embarrassed that you're taking the statements out of contents. No, we're showing the actual clips. Next question. Tell 
Charles Craig, BBC London. Uh, thank you, Sarah. My question, uh, the, the President recently started an, an animosity campaign against the Mayor of London concerning the recent terrorist attacks. Now, my question is, he seems to blame everybody for everything and never takes any responsibility himself for anything. <laughs> is he never accountable, even to uh, the wife? The President of the United States is accountable for all the great things that he's done. Um, in the nine months that he's been in office. Uh, the President really? of the United States has done more uh, for the United States of America than any President in the history of the United States. He's making uh, the people accountable in the world for all the problems that they're having, uh, just like the Mayor of London. Uh, next question. Rob DeBoer, thank you for taking my question. Now, the President has said that as soon as his tax returns had been fully audited, he would release them, and yet we're still waiting for his tax returns. And now, with the current investigation into the Russian meddling, will Mueller finally be able to bring the president's tax returns out into the open? Well, the American people uh, don't care about his tax returns uh, because they he elected him. And uh, it's no big deal. He's president of the United States. It's not a big deal. Dave Reynolds, The Reynolds Report. Sarah, the president seems to be obsessed with attacking former President Barack Obama and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, is there not an unwritten rule about attacking former presidents and officials? I don't believe there's a rule, and I don't know what you're talking about because the president hasn't attacked anybody. He's defending himself. That's what uh, President Trump does. Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton uh, are very corrupt. President Trump is uh, voicing his opinion because you know, he's an honest man, and uh, he likes to talk from the hip and tell it like it is. Uh, one more question, Sarah, if I may. Uh, we were all sideswiped by George Papadopoulos at the news that he basically uh, pleaded guilty in July. Now, since then, he has actually had access to the White House and White House staff, and he has been uh, classified as a proactive cooperator, meaning he's probably wearing a wire. Do you think President Trump is worried about what might potentially be on that wire in terms of a compromising conversation? The only compromising conversation is uh, that maybe the president was ordering a Greek salad without the black olives because they give him indigestion from Judge Papadopoulos because that's all he did for us. Thank you. We're going to take a short break. We're going to be right back. Don't go away. This is the Beer Fractal.